All right, guys, I'm back with another video. And today, hopefully I don't knock this bike off stand. I just took my tires in to get uh, my DOT tires on. Um, but today, I've had a question or two on my key switch. So I wanna go through with you guys how to set it up, how to install. Um, and also I'm actually gonna show you kind of tear down what you have to do to get to the point of being able to completely hook it up. So um, first off, I got it from slavensracing.com. Um, my key switch was $39.95. Not terribly expensive. I mean, for what it is, you know, if it can keep someone from just walking away with it, 39 bucks is not that bad. Um, and I actually just wrote it down. This is, I wrote down my part number. This is the actual part number and price and their site. Um, and I will actually put a link down in the description as well um, to their site to get that. But okay, so I wanted to go over with you really quick, just first. First things first, you're gonna wanna take your seat off to get to, okay, sorry, first things first, you wanna take everything off, the seat's coming off, your side panels are coming off, your tank is gonna come off, and I already unbolted it to make it a little easier, a little quicker for the video, um, but it mounts right here. That's at least where I mounted mine. Um, and you gotta just take these two little rubber mounts to pop your headlight off. And then that headlight just kind of falls forward. If you take your cables over here out, it'll fall forward a little bit better. Um, just for showing you guys wise, I wasn't gonna take it completely out. Um, but then also right down in here on the inside of the fork, there is a little plug Try and get that out of the way so you guys can see it. There's a little plug, and that is where it plugs in at. It will come with a complete plug and play. These are just four pin, four pin connectors, and they get plugged in right up here, right in there, if you can see that. I don't know how well you guys are actually gonna be able to see that, but right there is the plug, the stock mount plug, and it's got a little clip here. So you wanna make sure you just grab like a little flat blade screwdriver and just kind of pry that out of the way and those will pop apart. And then when you get your new switch, it literally is just plug and play. You just plug this stuff right back in and it is super easy. Super, super easy to set up. Um, but anyways, so first things first, take your seat bolts out. Those are eight millimeter, and then pop your seat off. Or you can use a torque. Torx, I believe it's either a T20 or a T30. Um, and if you guys had your toolkit that came with your bike, should everything should be in there that you need to completely take this apart. And then your plastics, both sides, you'll have one bolt underneath the seat on both sides, and then one bolt up here. Those are six millimeter. And then you'll have two bolts down here on both sides right by your radiator. Those are eight millimeter bolts. You take that off and then kind of wiggle it, slide it forward. This right here is a little slide clip. So do not pull straight out because you will break them. So take that side off. And then this would be the right side. Pop the right side off. And I just got them kind of sitting over here. All right. So there you go. Got your sides off, seat off. Now, let's see if I can set you guys down real quick. All right. So then on your tank, you're gonna have this plug right here is on the right side of your bike. You gotta pop that off. And if you come around to the left side of your bike, you're gonna have your fuel. It's just a quick release right there. Just quick release, pop that off. 
Down here, you're gonna have an eight millimeter and again, a Torx. If you wanna use eight millimeter or a Torx, either way, doesn't matter. Um, and then your vent hose right here, kinda goes wise down, just pop that off. And then your tank can come off. Just pop your tank off. Just kind of set it where it's not going to get screwed up. And then there, you got your bike pretty much tore down. So why I did this is I wanted to show you guys, it'll have a wire that comes over here and gets grounded out. And you'll notice there's a couple other wires down here, some stuff for your ignition, or just a good grounding spot. Um, and this is actually going to be where your kill switch plugs in. Your kill switch will just plug into this and you do still need the kill switch to shut your bike off. I haven't put mine back on yet because on this bike, like I've said, there's a start on the right side and a kill on this side and I put lights on it. So I wanted to get rid of this switch. So I'm going to get a two in one for this side start kill, but you do have to hook this back up to shut your bike off. Again, green your ground, just take that little bolt off right there and you can pop your ground on there. And then again, this will be for your kill switch and it literally just plugs in super simple. Everything just plugs right in. Um, and then around this side, again, your four pin connectors and just kind of route them to a good spot and zip tie them off. I haven't completely got this 100% done yet. The, the key switch is done, but the bike itself isn't 100% done. Um, so I got some other things that I wanna kind of move around, so I have not zip tied them up yet. But essentially guys, that's all it takes to, uh, to do your key switch. It's fairly simple and I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a run through how to actually take everything down if you guys haven't had your bike apart yet. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do it. And like I said, I'll throw a, a link down in the description for uh, Slavin's Racing. And if you guys have any other questions, just uh, let me know. Shoot me, a, shoot me a comment if that helped you guys out. Awesome. If you guys want any other uh, any other videos on some other stuff that I've done, or if you guys have any questions in general, just uh, get a hold of me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, have a good day, guys.